Hi guys, this is John from waltonsinc.com and this is Gamebird Gourmet. A great way to make sure you're using all of your pheasant breast at the end of the year, you know that stuff that's tucked way back in your freezer, is to make sausage out of them. We went ahead and made some hatch green chili bratwursts with our pheasant. Now, pheasant by itself is really too low fat to make a good sausage. So we went and got some pork fat and we added 25% the weight of the pheasant in pork fat. Now you can mix it 50-50 with a pork butt, but when you do that, you are gonna lose the pheasant a lot. You really will just taste the pork mostly. We also added some high temp cheddar cheese to these to just give them a little extra pop. So the first thing you wanna do is freeze your pheasant breast really to the point where it's almost frozen solid. Then cut it up into chunks small enough to fit down the throat of your grinder. And then you're gonna to wanna to grind it twice. First through a 3 8 plate and then through a 3 16 plate. That first 3 8 plate is just breaking it apart and then the second 3 16 plate is what's gonna give you the texture and consistency you want from a bratwurst. Now when you're mixing it, this is a fresh product. So we don't wanna get protein extraction. So a good way to avoid that is to add your seasoning to whatever water you're gonna to add to your bratwurst and mix it in there. We are also adding carrot fiber to this. So that's gonna keep the moisture more in the meat, which is something that we're concerned about with a pheasant sausage. So we just went ahead and mixed until the seasoning and the cheese was evenly dispersed through everything. Wanna make sure that there's not any bites without cheese or some that are mostly cheese. So just keep mixing until it looks like all of the meat is roughly the same color and the cheese is evenly spread throughout. Then go ahead and load your sausage stuffer and you're gonna to wanna to choose a stuffing tube that's the biggest one that your casing will fit over. Now we're using the 30 to 32 tubed hog casings. We like the tubed hog casings because they're so much easier to deal with. You just take them out of the package, rinse off the salt, put them in a warm bowl of water for at least a half hour, and then you slide it right on, pull that plastic sleeve out and you are good to go. No rinsing the inside of the casing, no untying huge knots, it is nice and simple. It is definitely worth a few extra dollars. Then just go ahead and stuff until the sausage is as full as you want it. My suggestion is to leave it a little bit understuffed instead of going overstuffed. This is because when you're twisting it, you can just twist it a few more times and it will tighten right up. Another nice thing about using hog casings is that when we cut in between where we twisted, it stays nice and closed. It doesn't open back up, and it'll even do that while you're cooking. Collagen is even a little bit easier to use than these tubed hog casings, but as you cut it, those ends will open up, and that'll happen even more during the cooking process. The hatch green chili is a great bratwurst seasoning. It's loaded with flavor. It's obviously got hatch green chilies, but it's also got dehydrated red and green bell peppers, as well as jalapenos, and you can taste all of that in these. It does have a little bit of a spice, so if you're someone who doesn't like spicy food at all, I'd recommend you just go with another seasoning. The tomato basil brat would also be really good with pheasant. If you're looking for toppings, the Terrapin Ridge Farm spicy aioli and the spicy chipotle are both awesome on this or really any other sausage. Now, if you're not gonna grill them all right away, make sure that you freeze them pretty solid before you go to vacuum seal them. If you try to vacuum seal them while they're not frozen, it will squish down the sausage and might even push the ends open a little bit. So make sure that you freeze them first. As always, remember to like, comment, and subscribe and visit waltonsinc.com and meatjustics.com to find everything but the meat. Thanks for watching. I'm John with waltonsinc.com and I'll see you guys next time. Subscribe to Walton's YouTube channel to watch more amazing videos or shop at waltonsinc.com to find everything but the meat. Watch our latest sales and giveaway video by clicking here or watch another hand-picked video by clicking here.